Uh, let's talk about uh, the big development today with Prince Harry. Uh, his his hacking case. He claimed that the son summarily, you know, serially hacked his phone for many years, dating yeah. back to the 1990s. Uh, I think it was established that he uh, said that his phone was being hacked two years before he owned one, uh, which uh, threw a bit of a spanner in the works. Uh, but uh, Justice Fancock has dismissed his claims in the most sort of derisory fashion uh, because he said one of the main tranches of Harry's lawsuit against the son was that he took so long to do it. I mean, officially, it should have been out of time. You only get six years, but it was many more years. So the big question was, why have you done this now? He said, oh, well, there was this secret pact, secret agreement <laughs> forged between the son's parent company, News UK, yeah. which, by the way, I should state, also owns Talk TV, uh, and the Queen and the rest of the royal family, that, that uh, they would lay off the royal family and, uh, in return, uh, the royal family would uh, not pursue any complaints against them. So he said that was because of that. Uh, the judge, uh, as I quoted earlier, let's look it up here, uh, said that that claim did not reach the necessary threshold of plausibility and cogency. And I would suggest, as I said in my uh, monologue, that another claim by Harry and Meghan, by the way, uh, that did not reach the necessary threshold of plausibility and cogency was that ludicrous car trace story yeah. they told about New York when they said that the paparazzi you know, chased after them at high speed for hours. Uh, it turned out that the this, this speed high speed chase sort of unfolded at the speed of about six miles an hour and if anything went on for about ten minutes. It just <laughs> didn't happen. So my question to you, uh, as I ask the viewers, I want to hear from you as well what you think. I mean, he hates the media. He particularly hates the popular press. Feels they've hounded him his whole life. I mean, you know, to be a member of the royal family uh, must uh, lead to an unusual relationship with the tabloids. Yeah. I get that. Uh, but Harry is way over the top with it, I would uh, contend. Uh, so my question to you is, as I ask the viewers, is, is his campaign, his war on the media, who he absolutely hates, just becoming almost uh, disturbingly deranged. Absolutely. I think you've got to think this guy is on the edge of reality, isn't he, really? And you have to ask questions about how his advisers have you know suggested that he go ahead with this legal case or the, the, it was the it was the lawyer who approached him because they had a case already and they wanted to bolster it but why did anyone think it was a good idea to go ahead with this he's made an absolute embarrassment of himself um, and as you say about the timing you know is this because you know part of the sort of plan that he and Megan have got to sort of launch themselves into sort of these global celebrities you know it seems that the timing is very convenient for them but at the <laughs> but they seem to be so far away from reality in all of these claims that they make. As you say, this high-speed high chase through New York, which actually could have just... Uh, mm. not happened at all if they hadn't dropped into a cab office. Why did they drop into a cab office and jump into a cab and then they circled around? You know, they, they created that whole thing themselves. I think it was the so, mayor of Man mayor of New York who said, high speed in Manhattan. <laughs> no one's ever been high speed in Manhattan. It's permanent gridlock. Yeah, uh, and, and, you know, so again, the, the, the grip on reality mm. here, I think, is getting uh, uh, to be a, a source of concern. And I mean, I've said this before. I think Harry, uh, what happens in his mind, he tries to explain things to himself. What, what's happened with my, my, all these stories about me? It must be this phone hacking thing. And before long, that kind of uh, imagined reality to him yeah becomes a reality mm. and he's pursued legal cases on the back of it exactly and this is the thing people around him should rather than being yes men they should be saying to him look no you need to step away from that you need to calm down but he's in a position where everybody around him is just probably agreeing with him and the problem for harry is he's just not very bright you know as you <laughs> said <laughs> as, you, 
<laughs> as you say, he, uh, he's got... A, you uh, might think that. <laughs> I could not possibly comment. Well, he took he took a case to court where they had to turn around and say to him, you know, where's the evidence? Yeah, well, that, said, I wanted to bring that up. This was the, his... Uh, he, he launches lawsuits like confetti. Yeah. He is litigious beyond belief. Yeah. So is Megan, of course. And in the case... This is a case against the Mirror. He's got one going against the Mail yeah. as well. You know, you name the newspaper, Harry's suing yeah. it. Uh, and in the Mirror case, uh, their lawyer uh, grilled Harry for, you, you remember that, harrowing seven hours. Yeah. Uh, and that is sort of one of his final questions was, so you say, you know, we've been using illegal methods on this yeah. whole litany of stories. You've been talking about stories. It was more than 40 yeah. stories dating back, uh, you know, 30 years yeah. or something. And uh, the, the, the barrister, the Mirrors barrister said, so have you got, uh, you've made all these claims, have you got any evidence that uh, any of this happened? And he said, no, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Exactly. And at which point we all went, what? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? He seems to think that, that, yeah. that you know, uh, the courts of law are a crapshoot. Yeah, exactly. You know, you turn up uh, with your own theories yeah. and say, and you expect the court to, and you hope the court will uh, say, yeah, sounds about right, yeah, you win. <laughs> I mean, what? Exactly. He doesn't get the basic concept of having to have evidence. And, you know, all of those examples, they were proven that the day before it had been released on, you know, the press association, or all of these kinds of things are torn apart. Mm. Um, it's it's embarrassing, really, and it's quite sad because clearly the guy needs to have some mm. decent advisors around him, but everybody's just blowing smoke. Uh, I, sh I should stress, that, uh, point out that uh, this case against the Sun, while, while this is undoubtedly uh, what the Sun uh, actually described today, or News UK, news group, newspapers, uh, said the High Court uh, decision today is a significant victory for news court group newspapers. The Duke of Sussex's phone hacking claims against both the News of the World and the Sun uh, have been thrown out. As we reach the tail end of litigation, NGN is drawing a line under disputed matters, some of which date back more than 20 years. So, uh, news group saying this is a significant victory. Mm. Uh, and I would agree with that, but uh, it is important to point out uh, that he can still pre still proceed to court. The judge Timothy Fancourt ruled on the basis that he didn't only say the illegal methods used against him were phone hacking. There were mm. other methods mm. he claimed, you know, like blagging, use of private mm. detectives, and all of that. So he can, if he so desires, continue to court on that basis. Mm. Uh, but uh, the most uh, damaging claims yeah. he made against the sun have not only been thrown out yeah i mean they've been hurtled out yeah. haven't they absolutely and it's just an embarrassment for him and also for the royal family they must just be you know absolutely wondering where it all went wrong with prince harry um let's hope that he doesn't you know take that extra bit of a small yeah, case forward take and the just hint. go yeah just <laughs> Cut hint. your losses yeah, and stop you know, embarrassing go back to yourself. Honestly, exactly. it's, ju it's ju just because he doesn't like the press. A lot of people don't like the press, but you have to be careful. Mm. The fights you pick, you know, lawsuits uh, are based on evidence, yeah. and if you haven't got any evidence, uh, you're not going to win. It's as simple as that.